team back with another video and today we're doing something a little different and uh we're joining the army well i just want to first say we're in the middle of nowhere we're in north carolina because we're doing something that we've never done so basically yesterday this is when we intro so this is kind of the second day but we're still gonna be joining the army kind of for the first time you guys will kind of come with me and see how that kind of works out can't be talking about too much of the location and you know some other stuff uh, you'll be seeing what i kind of do in a day with the army what time pretty much before we get in it's gonna be a super grab the key probably do <laughs> everything is going to be super secret like the location literally everything what we're going to this place is going to be like very discreet so i'm not going to be able to talk about too much until we get there let's do it so yeah i joined the army for a day and i won't lie i was a little nervous at first especially from the fact that the location of where i was going was so discreet and private but it just made sense but nonetheless i finally arrived and after getting there i met everyone i needed to meet and they instantly started showing me around all the barracks and all the crazy tech inside that they had the Robotics and Unmanned Integrator course is an exciting program that trains soldiers to operate and integrate advanced robotic systems and unmanned vehicles into their units. This intensive and effective program ensures our troops have the technological edge in the field. And I was showed a crazy amount of tech. First one walking in, we were introduced to this snake-like drone and it was unbelievable to see the way that it moved. <laughs> Now, even though this drone wasn't super fast, it made up for it with its super thin size and the fact that it can move in all directions, including horizontally and vertically. The fact that it goes upstairs is actually crazy. But that wasn't it when it came to the amount of tech that the army had because I also got to play with this insane flying drone. And this thing has the capabilities to be able to pick up items and drop off stuff in their designated locations. But the coolest part about this drone is that it doesn't even need to be controlled. Almost everything about this drone is automated and premeditated, so you don't even need to click any buttons when using this drone in action. But really one of the coolest features is the fact that it scans the areas and surroundings, and with that information it creates a detailed 3D map that the Army can use at its will. This is uh, our 3D mapping software, the 3D mapping you know, tool. Five minutes to, to do the actual orbit, and it took about five minutes to do the render. And you can use this kind of imaging for anything you need, you know, whether for like the Army, whether you're trying to make some sort of map for the mission or the objective, or maybe you just need to see what's on the roof. Instead of getting a ladder, or getting all these uh, potentially unsafe ways to get up to somewhere high, just send this up with uh, for about five minutes and you got your answer right there. Depending on the situation, you can choose between rendering in minutes or rendering in hours. And depending on that, it'll create an either more detailed or less detailed 3D map, which is just crazy. This is one of the coolest features I've ever seen and it's just crazy to see in real time. And I even met this soldier who I won't say his name and there's a reason his face is blurred and his voice has changed. Just know I'm glad he's not my enemy. I get to come to work with some of the smartest people, some of the most motivated people you'll ever meet. So you get to come in and just work with guys who are really passionate about their job, really passionate about robotics. And that's not something you get really anywhere else but he was one of the coolest and down-to-earth guys i've ever met and it was a pleasure meeting him for sure but i had the most fun with the rc cars the rc cars are crazy powerful and just have a ton of power to do almost anything and it has range unlike anything i've ever controlled before but it can also be controlled through a pov headset and a controller and the rc car was definitely able to handle so much more damage that i dealt to it than a regular rc car would and i was able to test drive this thing in so many different areas and terrains and even in their practice course where I think I did pretty well, I'm not gonna lie. All right, so we're about to go to this other army place. I think it's another site that we're about to go to and just do a bunch of cool stuff. I'm waiting for one of the sergeants to, to come out. We're gonna follow him because we're on some type of back road or whatever this is. I don't have the keys. I don't care. All right, so we just made it to the location and you can see a little bit of what we're looking at. I wish the sun wasn't on the opposite side, but. And you'll drive it across this ramp here, across the suspension bridge, down whatever side. You can bring it back up over those rocks, have to maneuver the uh, disc and everything. You lock them in. Is this walkable? Since Oh, you can actually walk on that. Yes. 
not, it, it is kind of fast, not in comparison to like an RC car, like yeah. a gas powered car, but it has locking differentials and uh, different high low gears so you can actually get over rough terrain like this. That's crazy. But that wasn't all because I also got to go into this room where they 3D print tons of things for their drones. And it's super cool to see how they implement 3D printing as well into their drones and just make almost everything that they do more efficient and easier. On top of that, who doesn't love 3D printing? Sometimes what you have and what's commercially available just isn't exactly what you need. So we try to give some students introduction to what we call additive manufacturing, you know, 3D printing. So you can make like a bracket for some of your antenna like this, or even just uh, something that helps keep your, your GPS in place. Anything else like maybe like a structural pylon, or you can see like some 3D printed here for uh, the camera mount. I mean, there really is no limit to what you can create to fix any kind of gap in your system here. So many smart people coming through our, through our courses, you know, we get surprised every, every class with what people come up with. I also got to print this really cool boat, and I'm honestly pretty happy about it. It's so cool. Other than that, I was showed how the course even works and how they train soldiers to even get set up to fly drones before they actually fly drones in real time and in real life. What's Tandor mean? Enemy? Uh, no. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this is our uh, drone racing league simulator. We'll normally get students on this for a couple hours, anywhere up to 10 hours before they'll get on like an actual first person view drone. Yeah. And that way, you know, you can see just how you were yesterday, getting a little comfortable before you even get onto a system. It's just about saving money so you're not wasting hundreds of dollars trying to fix the, the drone, crashing it over and over. You can also get like uh, different racing courses added on. So you have to like go through certain rings, you have to follow like a certain flight path. And you'll see some of these guys are just crazy good and crazy nimble. We just kind of get people up to like a, a basic level so they don't crash it. But you got guys on the team who've, you know, gotten hundreds of hours on the sim and they get really good. It's crazy how accurate the simulator is and it's so much fun just sitting here flying these things and it really does feel like you're in a video game. I kind of learned a lot about the army being here and just the army, how it works in general. I think a lot of people perceive it the way that it's not really supposed to be perceived. But I think after being here for a bit, it's so different. But you really have to be here for a while to understand what the experience is really like. You really won't know until you experience it for yourself. I think a lot of people should be way more open to just seeing how they feel about it. Overall, I had an amazing experience with the Army, more specifically the robotics and unmanned integrator course. When I first came here, I genuinely didn't know what to expect, but by far this blew my expectations for what I really got to experience with the Army. If I hadn't gone into content creation, this might have been my calling because not only do I get to work with tech every single day, but I get to do it with people around me that also enjoy doing it, and you're surrounded by what feels like family. But the army is definitely cooking up and this was an experience that I'll never take for granted. So shout out to the army for even inviting me out. But if you wanna try and experience this for yourself or you just have an interest in tech, you should look into doing this. All you have to do is go to goarmy.com or click the link in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video.